to take your medicine. Today's show, we will be discussing heart failure, which is also known as congestive heart failure or congestive cardiac failure. So heart failure is when the heart is unable to pump blood sufficiently to maintain blood flow to meet the body's needs. Here we have a picture of a heart. Its job is to pump blood that's in the body constantly. Now as with any pump, if it gets damaged or becomes overworked, it will start to give problems and that is when we start to get symptoms of heart failure. Symptoms include shortness of breath, excessive tiredness, swelling of the leg and ankles. The shortness of breath is usually worse with exercise or while lying down and may cause persistent coughing at night. So why does the leg swell? Your blood gets pumped around the body and the feet is an extremity point. It is one of the furthest areas away from the heart. So the heart that's in failure will have to work harder to pump the blood back from this area. Once the heart's in failure, it becomes very difficult to pump all the blood back and then you start to experience fluid retention in that part of the body. This is usually an indication of right-sided heart failure. Now, when you have fluid buildup in your chest, this usually indicates left-sided heart failure. Look at the sponge and imagine it's your lungs. The holes in it represent alveoli that traps air when we breathe and transports oxygen to the blood for the body to use. When the heart is in failure, fluid builds up and enters this airspace, making it very difficult to breathe so the fluid of the person standing upright will not affect them as much as when lying down, then it's spread across a larger area of the lung. The patient will feel like they are drowning in their own fluid and may have persistent coughs. This symptom is usually at night and is eased by elevating the patient's sleeping position from horizontal to a slight inclined position. Common causes of heart failure include a coronary artery disease, which may include a previous heart attack, high blood pressure, atrial fibrillation, valvular heart disease, infection, excess alcohol use, smoking, and cardiomyopathy of unknown causes. These cause heart failure by either changing the structure or the function of the heart. Heart failure is diagnosed by a doctor based on symptoms, physician findings, blood tests, ECG monitoring, and chest radiography. Treatments will depend on severity and causes of the disease. In patients with chronic stable mild heart failure, stopping smoking, physical exercise, and dietary changes, as well as medication, is usually used. In most severe cases, Patients may have to use a pacemaker to regulate the heartbeat. So guys, please try to live a healthy lifestyle that consists of good diet, lots of exercise, and try to avoid smoking and alcohol. I have just touched on the surface today on, of heart disease. My aim was for you to get a basic understanding of this disease. If you want to know more about this condition, then you should talk to your doctor about it further and see what type of management they can provide for you if you are suffering with this condition. If you guys found today's show informative, then please hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for all the support. Take care guys. Goodbye.